Information overload? Laura, we have one more thing to even go through. All right, um, for this problem, if you guys, uh, what we're going to do is just work on evaluating. And the important thing for evaluating is when you guys look at a logarithm, say over and over and over this. And this will help you remember logarithms, okay? Uh, we're going to evaluate when x equals 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a 4 for f of x. I'm sorry, an x, a 4 for x. So I have log base 16 of 4. So what a logarithm states, okay? What a logarithm states is your base raised to what value gives me 4. Sometimes to help you out, that's why I write it in exponential form because this would be... You know, a lot of times, let's just write it with a y. So it says 16 raised to what power gives me 4? Now, obviously, 16 is larger than 4, right? Yes. So it has to be a fraction. It can't be, you know, greater than 1. If it was greater than 1, it would be larger than 16. So we need to say, what bet, what number can I raise 16 to to give me 4? All right? You just need to think about that. And it's... Is it one half? It's one half. 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 One if you guys look at this, the same exact thing. If, um, if you're looking at this, if you raise it, okay, let's say we raise it to the 1 fourth, okay? Do you guys know what 1 16 to the 1 fourth means? Oh, what that means is that is the fourth root of 16, <coughs> okay? So take the fourth root of 16 and see what you get. Because remember, 16 to the 1 fourth is you take your n. This is the fourth root of 16 to the first power. But if I did 16 to the one half power, that means the square root of 16 to the first power. So it's going to be, your answer is going to be y equals one half. All right. Oh, I knew it was one half. It's like, don't you like square root it? Oh. Okay, look at it. Um, uh, let's see here. Well, you guys had 16 to the one half. Um, I'm not even going to that. Not to the one half, okay. Um, the question was, was it one fourth or one half? And what I said is, guys, a fractional exponent where you can rewrite as a radical, where your denominator is what you're taking the root of, and your numerator is the degree of your uh, of your radicand. So it'd be fourth root of 16 to the first is 16 to the 1 fourth. That is not 4. But the square root of 16 to the first power is 4. So therefore, um, y to the 1 half power. So 16 raised to the 1 half power equals 4. All right? I'm just going to end my evaluation there.